Hello, I'm back with with another review for WWE Superstars for June 28, 2012. Please ignore the phone. It's only rain once. Anyways, uh, there's a promo for Kane vs. Heat Slater for the main event later on. First match of the night is between Kofi Kingston and Michael McGillicuddy. Kofi hits the flying crossbody onto Michael McGillicuddy outside the ring. Michael uh, was going to hit his friendship but was countered with a backdrop by Kofi. Michael hits a drop kick on Kofi and pinned him for a two count. Kofi hits Michael with his finisher, Trouble in Paradise, and pins him for the win, which I'll give this match a three-star match. And there's a promo for Kane vs. Heath Slater for the main event later on. And another promo for a Frost Town Animal DVD, which will be released. Uh, now it's Down Young vs. Epico in our next match. Down Young hits Epico with a backbreaker by the side of the ring. Uh, Down Young hits Epico with Spencer, the gut check, and pins Epico for the win, which I'll give this match a two and a half stars. There's a promo for Kane vs. Heath Slater for later on tonight, or later on, rather. Uh, there's a promo for Money in the Bank for July 15th, 2012. A promo for 1000th Episodic show of Monday Night Raw for July 23rd, 2012. Then we have the next match between the Usos and Unico and Camacho. Unico pins the, one of the Usos for a two count. One of the Usos hits the Simone drop on Unico and pins him for a two count. And then after the, uh, the super kick on Unico, one of the Usos pins Unico again, this time for a three count, which I uh, give this match a three star match. There's a promo for Hulk Hogan's 1989 movie, No Hard Spot, which will be re released. A uh, promo from this past Monday Night Raw for the Raw Rebound. Um, there's a promo for for the uh, Money Bank ladder match, Fatal 4 Way. Money in the Bank ladder match between John Cena, Kane, Big Show, and Chris Jericho. Uh, there's a promo for the Great American Bass this Tuesday on Sci-Fi. Don't miss it. And uh, then for the main event is between Kane and Heath Slater. Slater hits Kane with the top rope onto the outside and pins Kane for one count inside the ring. Kane hits Slater with a side slam. Climbs up to the onto the turnbuckle, hit Slater with a flying clothesline. Once Slater got up, Kane took them Slater for a three count, which I would give this match a two and a half star match. Uh, that's my my uh, Superstars review. I will see you guys this Saturday for my Smackdown review. Till then, have a wonderful afternoon. Peace.